Well, hey guys, and welcome to ARP again. And yeah, we're first person. I've done it once before as Leo. I figured you guys might fancy a bit of a criminal activity, so in our car. I've not done just a straight up fun pursuit in a long time. So I figure, why not now? This character is probably going to end up uh, going away anyway. Jim Miller Davis. So. Oh god. <laughs> I need to pay attention to where I'm going. Um, yeah, so I've not done this in a while. This car is not registered, it's basically stolen. Um, I figure I'm going to get myself pulled over and have some fun. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. It should be a little bit uh, different with it being first person, but that could be a lot of fun. It certainly makes the driving side of it much more realistic, so let's just see what this takes us, shall we? Where do the cops normally hang out? Joshua Road is a good place. Let's just boom along here. No regard for our speed because we're kind of hoping to get pulled over. Makes life a bit spicier. Watch this be the one time there aren't 10 cops running radar on Joshua. There we go. Don't see the fuzz behind me. Not in their usual spot, so we'll keep going. We might turn around and come back. We'll see how they take it. Where are they? I think if I look back, it's going to make... No, it's still first person. That's great. Oh, that's a cop. I was definitely speeding. Is he going to turn around? I think he's turning around. Yep. We got our first customer. <laughs> oh, and it's a TU boy as well. This should be entertaining. Ah, do we want this to go down? Did we open the window? I guess we did. I think we did at least. Doesn't look like it though. Let's open a window, shall we? He's going to call for backup, I guarantee, because this isn't registered. So let's go for the left front window. There we go. Let's keep an eye on our little friend in blue over there. He's not getting out yet, so I think he's realised this is not registered or they're going to call in a, another unit for a code 5. I can't see much because of the roll cage. That was a bad idea. Oh, he's getting out. No, he's not. He was looking at the plate, maybe. I guess we'll hear his friend coming along in a moment. Because they'll want to code 5 a unregistered vehicle. They don't know what they're walking up on. Which is policy for them. So we expect to wait a second for another unit to roll up. But it is just down Joshua. So I expect we'll see the second one very soon. Where are you? Yeah, you're, yeah, okay. He's pulling in now, so the second unit could arrive. He's kind of telegraphing that one. Oh, no, he might be walking up. No, he's getting out again. Make your mind up. I have no idea what he's doing. Is he going to walk up on me? If he does, that's breaching policy. Can you roll your windows down for me? Oh, crap. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I, uh, I'm Officer uh, Corey <laughs> with the Traffic Enforcement, San Andreas Traffic Enforcement. I clocked you going uh, 68 and a 50. Do you have your license registration proof of insurance? I don't need to show you that. You got no proof. Uh, ma'am, I caught you on radar and got you on dash cam. 
No, I don't need no proof. Like, you, I don't believe you. Show me. Ma'am, you can take this up in court. This isn't a time and place to argue this. <laughs> that woke him up. He was too close to the window and I could see him. Whoa, hello. <laughs> that definitely made it a bit more exciting. And now I can't see crap out my rear view mirror. <laughs> I'm going to assume they're following. Unless they've just torn us out of here. Whoops. Uh, I can't even English apparently. So, we're tootling off after that one. And I can't see squat out my rear mirror. Or window. And the side mirrors don't work thanks to GTA. I think I've actually lost them. I may have to come back and help. Yeah, one officer at the stop and he got shot, so that unfortunately kind of screws him over. We'll come back and we'll uh, we'll make it a bit more obvious. Ah, he was stood far too close to the window and I could pull a weapon out, so... Oh, there they are. You know what, the mouse and keyboard's actually a little bit more efficient for this. Hi, coppers. I don't think they saw me. No, the cops have flown off into the distance because they didn't see me in the southbound lanes. This is such a weird perspective to be doing this from. It's actually kind of fun. Still can't see Jack. There he is. <laughs> Let's catch up to the copper, shall we? Hi there, Mr. Fuzzball. <laughs> I'm just going to drive behind him. <laughs> Hi there. Let's see if they look for the bolo vehicle. <laughs> Hi. Oh yeah, we're on it. Here's the tricky bit. Not sure why the building's not there. Okay, that's damaged the car probably. Let's try and drive it as well we can through traffic and get to somewhere we can have a bit of a standoff. Otherwise this will end up getting a bit restrictive. Whoa, yeah, definitely damaged. I don't even know if they're still following me. I kind of hope they are. Oh, my rear window's out now. I can actually see what's happening. That helps. Where should we have our standoff? The lumber yard's so overused, but... I kind of want to do it. Oh, that's the cops. Uh, yeah, they're following. They're definitely on me. Oh, now one's on it. Hell yes. They got the helicopter unit up in this place. I was kind of hoping to get one active. Let's go clucking bell, shall we? That's always a fun opportunity. Okay, what have we got here? This is going to have to be quick. Nope, not going to get me. 
Not gonna get me. I'm running. I'm running. Actually, I'm waiting. Not a great location. Let's wait here. If they run past me, epic. If they don't, they don't. They should be coming through that door, I hope. Well, that abandoned police car is going to be the actual police car that unfortunately belonged to Officer Corey, I think. But air support's going to be covering the factory, I hope. And they should be clearing the building. I'm not going to wait because they're probably going to be clever and come from both directions. Let's give the air support unit something to look at. Up the ladder we go. This is such a different world in first person. It's actually so much harder. Okay, there it is. Darn it, air support can see me. Can I make that? No, I can't. Can I get over here? Yes, I probably can. Have they been that stupid? Yeah, no, they haven't. Uh, yes, they have. Fantastic. Nope, they're not going to stop running. You're going to stop, though. Thank you. Boy. Ah! Air support's got to see me. I guess they don't. Because I don't hear officers basically taking off after me. Which makes this kind of amusing. But at least my visibility's a lot better now. I'm going to go say hi to the firefighter. If he's still there. Nope, he's not still there. So, we're going to keep driving around until we find out if they see something. I'm genuinely impressed that they haven't spotted me yet. Or, yeah, really surprised. Play it cool, play it cool, play it cool. Let's just try and play it cool. Act like nothing's wrong. If ASU's on me, ASU's on me. No, God. No. Wow, they just ignored me flat out. That's amazing. Oh. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, follow the law. Get the controller for smooth driving. Controller for smooth driving. We're just going to drive out of town. If we get away, we get away. Which will be pretty darn it. Uh-oh. I think they see me. I think they see me. Keep driving. Be cool. Oh, crap. They see me. No. Lumberyard it is. Lumberyard it is. The classic standoff. We live or we go down. Come on. Go for it. Oh, they're right up my backside here. This is so disorientating in first person. This is so disorientating. I guess that's where it ends. <laughs> oh, being in first person is so much harder than when you're in third person. Oh. We are down. We are down. 
Nice role players injured though. The clubs had a good run there. At least the air support stayed on me, which I'm impressed with. They found me on the roof. They tracked me to the new car. I don't know if I hit that second officer, but oh my god, the sirens are loud. Like stupid loud. I'm not sure what he's doing other than pumping a thing. What a place to die though against the logs. <laughs> yeah, turn your sirens off now boys. No need to be loud. Air support has me lit up. They did a good job there. There we go. Ah. Wait, officer down outside the lumber yard? Unless he means... Oh, right outside, that guy. Ah, so I got Jonathan. I kind of feel bad for that, because he's a fairly new officer. Hopefully he's okay, though. I don't think I hit him that well. Wow, I slewed that thing in sideways. Ah, that was busy. And kind of fun. Um, they're going to clear me now and find out whether I'm alive or dead. Let's just remind myself what character that was. That was... Jamila Denton. There we go. Uh, <coughs> Do I need to revive? I'm not sure why right I disappeared. There. Right in front of me. Oh, right they see me. me. <coughs> yeah, they see me. Yeah, we are in third person, so let's just stay in third person now because the first person pass over. Okay, let's at least give them something to work on if they can get the medic up here. That's if they can actually spare one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bleed out. <coughs> What a place to die. That is pretty impressive. Not sure why my car vanished, but GTA get a GTA. No, they don't care. <laughs> Fair enough. They do not care. Yeah, to be fair, the other officers far much more of a priority than some scumbag who shot at them. So, yeah. We're going to wrap this one here, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It was a bit different with the first person. Honestly, it made the gameplay so much harder. You know, seeing where you're going. Trying to coordinate shooting from a vehicle or doing anything from a vehicle. Escaping, hiding, covering, you know, clearing terrain. Running through the factory was so different. We're so used to playing this in third person, it becomes very easy, if you will, to play the game. Whereas in first person... You're kind of limited to what you might see, although the field of view varies, of course, depending on what you've got it set to. And it certainly makes shootouts a lot quicker and more difficult. And imagine if everybody was in first person, it'd be a whole different world. I think it might actually be fun. Plus, it'd give some purpose to the mirrors in-game. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not for my videos every single weekday. Hit that little bell notification icon so you can see them. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye.